When is a question not really a question? If I ask my kid to take out the trash, do I care whether they want to take the trash out or not? Probably not. I'm probably saying, you need to take the trash out. I'm telling you, I would like the trash taken out. I phrase it as a question because it's polite, but there's an understanding there that what's happening is I'm not curious about whether they want to do this thing. I am requesting or demanding that they do this thing, depending on my level of power within the relationship. This is true in a lot of the relationships in our lives, in work relationships, um, in, you know, any, anywhere there's a power discrepancy where somebody has the external power to make a demand of you, it's very difficult to tell the difference between a demand and a question. Ideally, our more intimate relationships don't have so much of a power differential, and, but it's hard to get out of that habit right? So instead of thinking about um, asking for consent, which is just, I'm not going to call the cops on you if you do this. It's not the best we can aspire to. Um, what if we are curious about what the other person would like to have happen and vulnerable in expressing what we would like to have happen within a relationship? And that leaves space for generative co-creation of an experience that will delight everyone involved, which I think is a much better goal than no one's going to call the cops next day, right? Um, but it is a paradigm shift, and it's thinking about things in a more nuanced and different way than we grew up with. But, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, this won't be the first time I've asked you to do that. So... The next time you want to ask someone for something in the context of an intimate or physical relationship, note for yourself, just pay attention and find out, are you actually curious what their answer is? Or are you personally invested in a particular answer? And it's not wrong to be invested in a particular answer. Um, it, sometimes if you need a hug, you're going to be invested in whether you get that hug or not, right? It's a matter of degree because even if I need a hug and I ask for a hug, if my friend has a bad sunburn, I'm, I don't still want a hug from them. I'll go get a hug from somebody else, right? Um, so it's a balance of understanding your own needs, expressing those needs to other people, and then caring that the person who's meeting your need is happy to do so. And this becomes a more difficult and challenging way to live, but I promise you it is so much more rewarding.